Well, maybe you have heard during the last few weeks, people like looking for the helpers in all of this craziness that has been this pandemic. And we've got one of those helpers here in Tampa Bay joining us now. Keller Williams Realtor Lori Sanisiri is back today. Lori, how have you been? I know you've been out in the community helping. How's it going? Uh, it's going good. It's going good. I, uh, you know, quarantine's kind of taken a toll on me with cabin fever, but other than that, <laughs> we're doing great. <laughs> Oh, it was nice. Just the other day, last week, actually, on The Blend, we had one of your friends, Catherine Stone, who yeah. is a lawyer, and she actually gave you a shout out because you and her have been working together to make sure that the heroes in the medical field are being fed and, and don't forget to eat lunch sometimes during their long shifts. You're helping with that. Yeah, so we have done about um, eight deliveries so far to TGH, to the uh, Labor and Delivery Department and the ER Department. Um, labor and delivery, I have a, you know, strong bond with them. You know, I just gave birth there nine months ago and most of those nurses were in my room helping me during that time. So it was nice to be able to provide them with food. Um, it's not just me though. Like I have, you know, several other friends that have given back in certain ways. Um, Susan Baldwin in my office has given back to the spring. Um, Brian, one of my friends, he paid one of his employees that likes to cook. Um, she made some tamales to donate to the local fire stations. Um, he's also dropped off, you know, cleaning supplies to people that couldn't get out. Um, Dana King, she's made face masks for her friends and also done some grocery shopping for her elderly neighbors. Um, Moff, he, his dad made thousands of face masks and face shields to, to donate to the East Coast. So, you know, people here are doing their part. They're doing what they can. Um, Lisa Cooley, she's also shopped for her family members. So it's, it's just nice to see that you know, us normal folk <laughs> in the community are out doing what we can, um, even if it's a strain on us time-wise or financially, just to make sure that the people that need are actually being taken care of. Well, and so much getting to know you in real estate, so much of real estate is focused on the community and you really do have their, the client you're working with, their best interest at heart. And I think it just shows that right now as you're helping in the community. Absolutely. Um, and a lot of people, you know, they're like, Lori, that's great. Thanks for giving back, you know. And, you know, most of these people are asking me, what's going on with the market right now? Like, how how is this being affected in the housing market? Um, and the answer is a lot. <laughs> it's being affected a lot. Our business has changed. Um, we're doing, you know, our listings by virtual tours. You know, we're not able to do showings at this time. Um, some people are still doing showings for vacant listings, but occupied listings, the owners are like, can we just do a virtual tour? And if they're really interested, then we'll show the home. Um, you know, inspections are sometimes being done virtually. You know, they're not coming into the home. Appraisals are being done from outside the home. You know, so there's a lot of things that's changing in my business. Um, you know, buyers are still out there. Buyers are buying. Um, you know, it, it's gone down a little bit, but people still are buying. Um, as far as listings go, we've seen a huge increase in inventory and it's you know certain areas but you also have like all of hillsborough county um i did some math with my husband just over the like from 120 days ago we've seen 164 percent increase of inventory coming onto the market and that is huge that is huge so it's a lot going on right now people are refinancing trying to you know keep their head above water um People are doing forbearances, which I strongly, strongly urge that you're checking with your lender and your trusted advisor on that to see if that's the best route for you because the forbearance is not what people think it is. It's not you miss a payment and then, you know, it gets added to the back of your loan. That's not how it's happening with all of these lenders. So you can contact my lender, Chance on Girl, you know, provide information for him. He's with Van Dyke Mortgage. But there's just so much going on right now that you have to make sure that you have somebody that you trust um, in order to make sure that you're getting all the information that you need during this time. Well, we have under a minute left, Lori, and I think so often you hear hearsay, you know, like the forbearance or like you were just saying, you know, everything going virtual from inspection to appraisal and things that it were heavily so relied on the person to person contact there. Right. What one thing would you want to say to people that are watching now that are either debating about putting their house up and saying, oh, maybe we should wait or same thing goes for buying? Uh, so for selling, I mean, if you've like really been considering selling, not just during this time, but maybe like six months ago when you're like, mm -hmm. all right, maybe the, maybe this is the time to sell. If you've actually been thinking about it and it's something that you want to do, now's the time to put your house on the market. You know, I've, I've been telling people, please do not get stuck trying to sell in a buyer's market. And we're not quite in a buyer's market yet, but we're going to be there soon enough. I mean, with all the inventory going on, it's just, it's not smart to wait. 
if you've already been considering it. But if you can wait and you know, you're happy where you're at for the next five years, then wait. I like it. That's a really great one to end on. Again, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for your work in the community. Stay in touch and we look forward to talking with you again. And if you want to talk to Lori in the meantime, of course, you can contact her. There's your cell phone right there, of course, her office address as well. Take care. Be well.